But as we move on with our program, I really would like to get your attention because you were all given a bottle of Hennessy. There's a reason for that, and I'm about to explain what it's all about. But what we'd like you to do, as quietly as you can, as I share the story with you, is open your bottle of Hennessy, charge your glasses, and then just hold on. Don't drink it, don't do anything, but listen what I'm about to share with you all. Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole, as you just heard, Jimmy Doolittle's co-pilot at age 102, is the oldest veteran living, and he is here with us this evening. Now, let me tell you a little something about the history before we move on. As you open your bottle of Hennessy and charge your glass, let me take you back to 1943, the year after the Doolittle Raid. The surviving Raiders gathered each year to commemorate the raid and to honor their lost comrades. Several years after World War II, they were presented a set of 80 silver goblets, each inscribed with the name of a Raider. And then each year, in a very solemn ceremony, the Raiders held a toast to those who had passed away the preceding year. Turning that Raider's goblet upside down over in its carrying wooden case. The number of goblets turned over has increased in recent years, and as you heard in the video, Doolittle himself passing away in 1993. And the ceremonies have grown more solemn. For decades, that wooden case carried a bottle of Hennessy cognac from 1896, the very year of Doolittle's birth. For a half a century, the men of the Doolittle Raiders held on to that bottle, vowing to only open it when the last few Raiders survived in one final toast. Now let me take you back just five years ago. With their ranks rapidly depleting, thinning, the remaining Raiders gathered, did so in private, and they voted at that time to hold that final toast the following year on Veterans Day weekend. Well, they could be sure that at least two Raiders would be able to participate. Four years ago, almost to the day, led by Lieutenant Colonel Cole at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, the surviving two little Raiders came together and after many decades finally opened that 1896 bottle of Hennessy, toasting their lost comrades one final time. Since that toast, we have lost three more Raiders, Robert Height, Edward Saylor, and most recently, David Thatcher. Today, one survives, and tonight, he stands with us all, and we stand with him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole. Lieutenant Colonel, we are most honored to share this stage with you tonight at 102 years of old, years old. All the, the thunderous applause we hear for you is for the incredible service that you gave to keep us all out of harm's way in World War II and the Doolittle Raid. Thank you very, very, very much. Let's thank the Lieutenant Colonel. Now, as I just explained, we have a bottle of Hennessy here, and we thought we'd let you share with whatever you would like with our wonderful crowd here tonight. Yes, I would like now to propose a toast. Uh, uh, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I propose a toast to all Raiders lost on the mission and those who have passed away since. 
along with all veterans. Thank you. All right, now hold on, folks. Let me give the lieutenant colonel a glass. Our chairman, Jim Palmersheim, is alongside. Please raise your glasses, and I'll let the, uh, the lieutenant colonel tell us to go ahead and toast. I propose a toast. <laughs> to all of you, to all of our veterans, and to Skyball and Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one final round of applause for an iconic, legendary gentleman that is a part of history as much as anybody we've come to know, Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole. Thank you, Lieutenant.